Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio! As you could see it already from the thumbnail, today I'm going to continue working on the BTS members. I know many of you have been waiting for it already for a very long time, so today is finally the day. But you have also probably already noticed the disclaimer in the beginning of this video and this is actually something I would like to talk to you first before I start the transformation. So if you are here just for the BTS boys, I will let the timestamp somewhere in the description box so you can easily proceed straight to the repaint. But if you would like to hear the story how YouTube is trying to kill my channel, how YouTube is trying to destroy the complete doll customizers community and also how YouTube is actually probably committing suicide and killing the complete kids content on YouTube, then please keep watching. I will try to be very short just to tell you, you know, the essence, what is going on, what we are expecting and what will possibly happen even though we don't really know that much. So what is going on? In the end of August YouTube has announced some very serious changes into their kids content policies. According to these changes starting from January 2020 all the creators will have to mark their videos, their content as targeted or not targeted for kids. At the same time, the robots, the artificial intelligence, is going to do exactly the same. They are going to scan all the videos, trying to track the ones that might be targeted especially for kids. And it means that all videos that include children, children's characters, like characters from children's books, cartoons, songs, also videos that include toys, playing with toys, reviewing toys, all these channels, all these videos, they will be marked as targeted for kids and kids according to the law are all people younger than 13 years old. YouTube was normally made for 13 plus. And so all these videos will be targeted as videos for kids and they will be demonetized because in videos made for kids can be no context ads and this is what we're getting our money from, from context ads. In these videos will be no comments because yeah, it's also a little bit collecting information from kids, what kids like, what, what kids hate, what they like more, most what they like less. In these videos will be no likes because it's also like collecting information from the miners who are possibly watching these videos. And there also will be no notifications because like this you can also track where kids click faster, what they like watch most and stuff like this. <laughs> I don't know, I was on holidays, honestly, I was on holidays. I was planning to come back and to sit here so happy, say, no oh, guys, I got some color, I've rested, I'm so happy. But then in the middle of my holidays, I've got this news and the rest of my holidays, I've spent crying in the sea approximately. Because yeah, they say nothing about repainting, like transforming toys. But... I feel like we're seriously in some gray area of these changes because of course the main object of my videos it's always a doll and doll like Barbie, Monster High, whatever it's always a kid's toy considered to be. So what it all means, what do we expect, what will happen, we don't know because really this is the only information that we have that all channels all videos containing toys and all kinds of kids children's characters all of them will be removed to youtube kids it will be so-called a safe platform for kids where will be no publicities you know no no comments no notifications no likes where kids there will be also no recommendations so really absolutely strange platform let's be honest i understand we have to protect our kids from all this information fishing but also i think it's a little bit a stupid decision because right now doll community is seriously under the fire 
Uh, illustrators are in serious trouble. Some cosplayers are also in serious trouble because yeah, we are playing with toys and we are using kids characters when I'm making Disney princess dolls for example. I'm turning, you know, a children's toy into a children's character. Crack, demonetized, uh, go find a full-time job. I don't know, for us it's such a shocking news, such a shocking decision because I never really thought of my videos as about kids content, kids videos, creative teenagers. Yes, I can believe that some person of 13, 14 can learn something from it. But a person under 13, especially a person under 10 years old, the only thing they can learn from my videos is how to destroy the toys they've got from their parents for Christmas. And also how to burn their fingers and how to, I don't know, how to burn your house with acetone. So, right now, I think the only way to step out of this grey shadow zone of these new policies for us is to make it very clear that this is art. Yes, I'm using a doll as my canvas. This is my only fault. Yes, sometimes I'm making so-called children's characters, but children's characters I'm also not making, you know, Peppa the Pig or Dora the, the Explorer. But anyway, with my videos from Barbie to Cinderella, I have a beautiful 100% chances to land on this demonetized and completely mute platform on this YouTube Kids reservation. Now, it's a tragedy for me. Honestly, this is kind of the end of my life. I am 35 years old. For the last four years, I'm busy with dolls. For the last three years, I spent 12 to 14 hours every day working here on my dolls or sitting there in my living room editing the videos. I cannot even take a day free because this is my life. If I'm not doing this, I'm sitting somewhere else thinking what I would like to do with my dolls, what else I would love to make for my videos, what else, what are my new ideas. If I'm not working, I'm generating the ideas. So for me, it's easier to work every day for three, four months, then I'm taking 10, 14 days holidays and there I'm chilling if I don't get the news that in four months my channel is going to die. You know, it really feels like you get a job that you love a lot. You know that you do it really good. You see the perspectives, like I have a plan for one year, I have a plan for five years. You know that you are moving forward, you see the results of your work, you get paid to pay your bills, you feel satisfied. And you also love the people that surround you. I love my audience, I love my doll lovers. And <laughs> they're going to take both from me, because my videos are not insulting because my videos can be qualified as kids content i don't like it and i'm gonna fight i don't don't make me mad don't make creative people mad and right now i'm very mad i already went through like different stages at the same like with some you know serious diseases when you are coming from a complete denial when hexton messaged me at 5 in the, in the morning, it was in my time zone, it was 5 in the morning. My first reaction was a complete denial, but I'm not a kid's content. I'm not for kids, I'm old and boring, my videos are way too long. Kids are going to fall asleep while I'm here drawing the eyes. It's for teenagers, it's for adults, I can see it from my stats and I can easily see it from the comments when I'm asking for some ideas for my new videos I see what you suggest to me because you are approximately the same like me younger, older, but it's the same like me, we're adults and what we're doing here, it's art, we're making expensive collectibles so, okay, this is all emotions Everything is going to be good, so I went already through this denial stage and right now on the fighting stage, you know? So what we're going to do with the complete doll customizing community? We're going to tell and show the truth. Let's be honest, guys. This hobby is dangerous. It has nothing to do with kids under 13, kids with young people under 13. I'm, I don't think that people under 13 are more stupid than 
people older than 13. But I also realize that if me, 10 years old me, 5 years old me, would see something like this on YouTube or on TV, I would destroy all my toys. So, first of all, it's already a bad influence. Guys, I'm giving you here bad ideas. I'm approximately forcing you to tell, to take your brand new Barbie, to cut her hair off, to crack it in pieces, to sew it in two, and goodbye. So, this is the first point. My videos are the bad influence for young people. The next point is that the materials that I'm using here daily are toxic, flammable, and dangerous. So, let's take a look. Acetone. Flammable, dangerous, poisonous. Call this number if you're younger than 13 and watching my videos. Mr. Super Clear. Extremely toxic. Here I have a mask. Here I have a mask because you cannot use this product without protecting your breathing system. Then, epoxy sculpt. Toxic, cannot be used without gloves. Then here, all kinds of materials for airbrushing. Sharp. And this is, this is already 18 plus. So please block me from YouTube Kids. Don't let me go to YouTube Kids. This is not for kids. I am an adult professional. I am an artist. I've already cut my fingers so many times trying to customize dolls here. And the fact that I'm making here a Cinderella doll or a Snow White doll, all these things that do they don't make me a content for kids. My content is a content for teenagers and for adults. For sure, not for kids. There are thousands and thousands of hours invested into my YouTube channel, really thousands of hours. And I think it's very normal to expect something back. Like me, for example, I have a company here in Belgium. I'm a really, I'm a registered company here in Belgium. I pay tax on all my income that I get from the ads in my videos and from selling my dolls. And the tax in Belgium is something around, you know, 44%. This is my job and I expect to have it back. If I work every day, 12, 14 hours per day, I expect to be paid. Okay, there are some artists that don't monetize their videos, that do it really as a hobby, and their pleasure is to communicate with their audience. I understand, you, you must have or financial or emotional satisfaction, but right now they're taking both away from us. So, but what is about my channel? What is going to change here? Of course, some changes are going to come in the next weeks and already today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to concentrate more on the really technical and artistic side of my repaints. I'm not playing with dolls. I'm taking them, I'm destroying them, I'm using them as a canvas for my art. It's not pointed towards kids. All the materials that I'm using are dangerous. You might hurt yourself. Uh, then also I'm going to unfortunately drop all the children's characters. I'm going to stop making Disney princess dolls. I'm very happy I've made already quite a lot of them. But you know, I tell you, with videos from Barbie to Cinderella, I'm going straight to YouTube Kids. <laughs> I don't want, I'm too old, I'm old and boring, don't bring me there. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make more adult celebrities. I know many of you are going to be happy. I'm going to make more characters from adult films, not adult films, but you know, 13 plus films. So no, unfortunately, no, no Tinkerbell. Uh, she used to be in my planning for a very long time, but yeah, it, it's not going to happen. I might also change the thumbnails a little bit to remove at least, you know, like the Barbie word from there and the Barbie face also probably remove from there. I'm going to call it more like making mini Lana Del Rey, something like this. By the way, I'm already busy, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss the Lana Del Rey repaint. 
So from the concept from Monster High to Billie Eilish, I will come more like yeah, making mini Billie Eilish, making mini Lana Del Rey. Also the music in my videos will probably become a little bit more, you know, something jazzy, more loungy, you know, less attractive for kids. And you see, I have already here a little bit changed my studio. It's of course just made today to remove all the dolls. I removed all the dolls pictures. I removed the dolls that were chilling here on the sofa. I want to show it as my professional working studio where me, a professional adult artist, turning useless toys into some art objects. So, <laughs> Now that's probably, yeah, I was going to be very short, I was going to tell it all in a very nutshell, but as you can see I'm very emotional about it and it's all very very personal, I really, I've invested too much into this hobby, into this business and this is my lifestyle and I will not let them to, to take it from me. Please don't make creative people angry because we will find 300 other creative ways to fight you back. And this is how we're going to start with some soft changes just to make it a little bit more professional adult. And if you also want to help us to fight, please share this video, share this information to your social networks. Talk about it. I don't know. Follow as many doll artists as you can. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to other doll artists channel. I'm going to link them in the description box. Like this, we have a voice. Like this, we can stand up in front of these changes. And since we are still somewhere in a kind of shadow zone of these new policies, I feel we have chances to win. So thank you guys so much for listening to this emotional speech of me today, but really it's very personal, it's very important for me. This is my life, this is really my life and they are playing with it, being fired for no reason. This is what is happening and right now, finally, 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 I swear you, we are going to move into the transformation of uh, one of the BTS members. So, hello ARMY again. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you here. I'm sorry for this little bit distraction in the beginning. Because now it's finally time for your favorite BTS members. Last time in my V transformation video, I asked you who should be the next BTS member for me to transform. And it seems like many of you wanted to see Jimin, really. There were lots of comments with lots of likes under them. So I'm going to listen to you and today we're going to turn this regular children's toy into real art objects looking like real Jimin from BTS. So let's go. Since I cannot show doll unboxings anymore to not be qualified as a kid's content, I've got this doll out of the box off camera already and this is how my canvas looks before I start working on it. And honestly, he doesn't look that much like Jimin to me. Even though the face sculpt looks really gorgeous, I don't really know. There is like something missing in his face, I cannot really spot the problem immediately. He like does look like Jimin and doesn't look like Jimin at the same time. And also his hair, it's not looking good at all. There is like the same problem like we've had already with V. It's nearly impossible to make a good looking short haircut using this kind of doll hair. You must go for much softer and much finer fibers. I will show you later what I mean. And right now let's remove the outfit. I don't know, have they cheated on it again? Yep, losers. For this money you could make a complete shirt, I think. Here in Europe this doll costs 30 euro and it's about 35 American dollars. I don't know, I think it's a little bit too much for the outfit like this. The shoes look nice, but they're all the same. Like every BTS doll from this collection, they all have the same shoes. I don't know, this is a little bit disturbing to me. 
Maybe I'm not a professional enough. The army, guys, please tell me. Do all the members wear the same shoes all the time? I don't know, maybe it's a trend, maybe it's something like K-pop style that I don't know about it. I don't know, let me know, it's disturbing to me, so... Now let's take it all off and then I'm going to cut his awful hair as short as I can. So now let's warm up the head with the hair dryer, the hot air will make the rubber soft and I will be able to take the head off without damaging the neck. And after this let's take pure acetone, please don't forget it's very toxic, it's very dangerous, it's flammable, it's poisonous really, just dangerous to use. So and right now I will have to rub this paint from this doll's face pretty hard because the faces of these BTS dolls are extremely difficult to remove. They've been kinda printed on, you can see here the tiny pixel dots on his eyes and on his lips as well, compared to some, I don't know, some regular Barbie doll face. So, I will have to get some extra patience today to do it. And the paint from his head can be easily removed with acetone because it's just a regular paint. So now let's seal his face with three layers of this toxic and very dangerous sealant. And then I'm going to take a couple of reference pictures of Jamin and I'm going to try to recreate his face using my watercolor pencils and my soft pastels.
So now his face has been finished and I really love the way it looks, really, I'm really happy with the result. So, and now it's time to talk about the outfit, about the style, about the hair color. And you know, after quite a long research and after looking at hundreds and hundreds of pictures of Jimin with different hair color and with different outfits, I've decided to go back a little bit to the classics and I've decided to recreate the outfit from uh, You Never Walk Alone campaign. I really love how it looks, I really adore this light pink, like light bubblegum pink hair color, it looks absolutely adorable, and I also love and the short pants and these long socks and the lollipop that you can see on some pictures, I really love this picture, I really love this look, so this is what we're going to try to recreate today. And like always, if I don't have the required kind of fabric in my stock, I go shopping to some dollar store to buy some cheaper clothes for kids. And like this, I've got these jeans pants. It was just how much? 8 euro. And you can make many jeans shorts for dolls. I've also bought this mini t-shirt with stripes. I think it's kind of the correct kind of stripes that Jimin wears for this photo shoot. And I've also bought this fluffy pullover sweater. What is this? It's more like already for bigger girls. It also was just 8 euro. And I really hope I will be able to make the same kind of very soft and fluffy hoodie like Jimin wears on this photo shoot. I'm just a little bit worried about cutting it because it's normally, you know, it's a knitted fabric. So I'm a little bit scared that it's going to, like, you know, go loose. But I know we're going to think about it in a couple of hours for me, in a couple of minutes for you. And also to make his hair, I am going to use this pink acrylic yarn. So this is where I'm going to start. And I don't know, let's probably start with the t-shirt because it's probably the easiest part of the outfit today. So first of all, I copy all the parts of the t-shirt to the fabric and then I'm going to sew them together. And I'm using a special marker for drawing on fabric. Please don't use a regular marker for it. It must be a special one removable with water, otherwise you're going just to you know, waste the fabric. And sewing, by the way, it's also very much 13 plus hobby. Actually, that was probably something like, I don't know, 13, 14 when I've learned sewing. It was, by the way, in a basic course in the Soviet Union or post-Soviet Union school. And you know, the gender roles were basic like hell. Girls were sewing and cooking and boys were making some simple wood furniture. So also sewing actually, but wood like sewing and hammering. But anyway, even these basic lessons gave me a really good background. Now let's also make a pair of jeans short pants.
His shirts on the pictures have white spots on them, so I'm going to take some makeup sponge and some white acrylic paint and I'm going to apply the spots myself. So, now it's the difficult part. You see, this fabric is knitted. And if I cut it, it will be just impossible to work with it. It will all just run loose, you know? So, I think what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to start with outlining the details of the pattern using a regular tacky glue. When the glue gets dry, I can cut out all these parts and you see, now I can cut it without problems. And after this, I'm going to sew all these parts together. And I think I still want to trim these long threads a little bit because on this tiny doll scale it looks a little bit too hairy in some way. Okay, now let's make a pair of socks, the same like on the picture for my mini Jimin. And first of all I saw them, I make them out of a pair of baby socks. And then I'm going to draw the stripes on them using the acrylic paint to make them look exactly like the ones on the picture. Now let's also make a lollipop for him, I see it on some pictures and for the lollipop I'm going to use a stick from Q-tips and a tiny bit of an epoxy sculpt. And don't forget to wear gloves if you're working with it, it's a professional material, it's not a clay for kids, it's, you know, toxic while it's wet. Now I still want to customize his shoes to make them look like Jimin's shoes.
And then when you feel like it's almost finished, you suddenly realize you still have to make first wefts and then you still have to turn them into a week. And then you realize also that it will take another two days. So let's go probably very quickly through this wefts making process. You know it already very well from my previous videos. So first of all, I'm cutting the yarn. I'm attaching it to barbecue sticks. Then I'm making this yarn loose. I brush it with this brush for cats. Then I'm making it straight with a hot flat iron. And then I'm cutting them off the stick and I'm gluing the cut side with tacky glue. When the glue gets completely dry, I trim the side a little bit and then I'm making a wig for my gym and using a glue gun. Now you can take a quick look for a second at Jimin with long pink hair and right now I'm going to cut it all off using this eyebrow razor. And this thing is also very sharp, so better watch out with using it. And you see these kind of very fine and very soft fibers you can style into a short haircut. And rerouted hair will always tend to stand up and it will always look kind of chopped off. So this is how it looks now, not so good, let's be honest. And here we will use my very special trick. We will take another flammable spray, it's a hair spray from our local store. I will spray the hair and I will cover it with the kitchen plastic and I will let it sit like this for a couple of hours. And look what the magic happens when we remove the plastic. It looks really good afterwards. So now let's put finally everything together and then we will take a look at the end result pictures. Well guys, say hello to my mini Jimin! This time I can especially enjoy the difference between the before and after pictures, because he looks just like another person now. And I also especially love his outfit, because I really prefer these pastel colors much more than this brown costume he used to wear before. And you know, before he was also some very adult Jimin, like Jimin in 10 years. And now he looks more like a very young, cute and sweet Jimin, so... I don't know, I really like this doll, and what does the army think? 
Do I have a lot of Jimin fans here? I don't know. Let's meet up in the comments for a big Jimin fan party and let's discuss the doll before they've disabled the comments or something. I don't know. Let's enjoy the comments today. And also please tell me who should be the next BTS member for me to repaint. I'm planning to customize another one still before the Halloween this year. So somewhere probably in two or three weeks you can expect another BTS doll. So, it means we have to decide very quickly because I'm almost ready to start working on the one. Well, this doll will be like always available for sale on eBay for 3 days and the link you can find in the description box under this video. So and that was my transformation for today, I really hope guys you've enjoyed this video, thank you so much for your support, thank you so much for your attention to our problem with this new YouTube kids policies, anyway I really hope you've enjoyed the transformation and this is the most important, like always don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. And I will see you again very, very, very soon. I will not disappear because of these new policies. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to fight till the end. So thank you so much, guys, for being with me today. Love you so much. Bye. Have a nice weekend.